Hello friends, I wanted to do a little bit of a creative project for you, um, something that we have done for third graders and up, but will be new to my second grade friends. Um, these are called tessellations, and a tessellation is a pattern that repeats itself by fitting into the previous piece of the pattern. I'm not explaining it very well, but I think that you'll see what I'm talking about. So in order to make a tessellation, you're going to need a note card or some sort of a thicker paper to make your pattern, scissors, some tape, a pencil, and then you need a ruler. And I don't have a ruler, but I have my quilt square, so I'll use that as my ruler. And then a piece of paper or something to draw your tessellation pattern on. I'm actually going to use a canvas because I'm going to paint mine. So. The first thing we have to do is make our tessellating pattern. And we're going to do this by using the note card or the thicker paper, tag board, poster board, something like that. Now this is a really big piece. It's a four by eight piece and I don't want a four inch. What we need to do is a square. So I'm going to come to the other side right now and I'm going to make actually just a three inch square. And the way I'm going to do that is I am going to find my corner here and I'm going to mark it at three inches on this side, lining up my top, three inches on this side. Then I'm going to come to this side and I'm going to mark it at three inches on this side. Okay, now I'm going to straight down this way and I'm going to go this way. And I'm going to go mark it on this side. It's kind of nice to have this quilter square because it's even, I know, all the way across. And then I have my three inch square. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that out. And I'm not sure if you're seeing this in the video or not because I'm not watching the video as I do it. Okay. But basically, friends, all you need to start out with is a three inch square. It could be a two inch square. It could be a four inch square. It kind of depends on the piece of um, paper or canvas that you're going to be putting it on. But it's going to be bigger than this, but at the same time, it's going to still have the same area. So this will repeat itself several times over my canvas, so I like the size of it. Okay, now step one. I'm going to try and do this against the white of the canvas so that you can see it a little bit better. So, okay, here we go. So, there are four sides to my square, okay? One, two, three, four. And what I'm gonna do is choose one of those sides. Doesn't matter which one, any one of those sides. And I'm gonna draw a random pattern that goes from corner to corner that goes inside. I'm gonna do something like that, corner to corner, okay? And then, I'm going to do something on one of the opposite corners. So on this side, on one of the opposite sides. So on this side, I'm going to do this. Okay. So you can see my square has its two little shapes here. Now, very carefully, I'm going to cut my shapes out that I've just drawn. I'm going to be really careful with the cutting here because we're gonna use this to make our pattern. So I'm cutting this one out very carefully, went corner to corner. And now here's where the magic goes. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna flip it over, but I'm gonna put it on the other side like so, and I'm gonna just take some tape then and very carefully make sure the edges meet. I'm gonna tape it down so that it stays there. And of course I have some tape that goes over, so I'm gonna be really careful and put that there. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with this other side. Cut out this kind of wave pattern that I've made here. And if I go off the lines, that's okay. It really doesn't make any difference because 
it's the cut pattern that matters, not necessarily the drawn pattern. So if I decide that I don't want that little corner in there, I don't necessarily have to have it, okay? That was too much. So now I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put it over on the other side, like so, okay? So now I have something that looks absolutely nothing like what I first started out with, but I have a new pattern. I'm gonna tape that down. And this is going to be my tessellating pattern. And again, a tessellating pattern is a pattern that repeats itself by fitting into the pattern as it sits. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up my canvas here. Poke, I didn't poke through. I did. Oh well, that's okay. I'm gonna to be careful when opening canvases. I get kind of excited about that. Okay, now here's kind of the magic. I can put my pattern anywhere on my canvas that I want. Let me see if I can get out a little bit. Do you see how I can put it anywhere on my canvas? I'm gonna start in the middle a little bit, and then I'm gonna very carefully and very lightly trace around my pattern because this is what I'm going to be painting. So these will be my lines. This is like a, a paint. I'm, I'm drawing the lines that I'm gonna paint in. Oops, I went on my pattern, that's okay. You just hold down your pattern and trace around it. No need to get in a hurry. You can do this, take as much time as you need to do this. Oh, I have a piece of tape there that's keeping my pattern from letting me draw, so I'm gonna trim that out just really quickly. Otherwise, I'll never get that pattern to repeat itself. Okay. We get in there like so, fit it exactly back where it was because it's really important to keep it where it was. And then I'm gonna go here and here. Okay, so now I've got my pattern drawn on here and this is kind of where the magic happens because what I'm gonna do now is take my pattern piece and I will be able to fit it perfectly into what I just drew. And then I'm gonna go ahead and trace around it again where it fits in and some of the lines will already be drawn because I'm using it almost like a puzzle piece fitting it into where it already was. That one goes right to the edge. Since this is a canvas, I'll go over the edges with it so it goes off the side because when you're painting on a canvas, you don't want to just stop at the end, okay? So do you see what I've got here now? I've got the same pattern. It repeats itself and it fits into itself. Now what do you say about that down there? Do we have a piece that's going to fit in there? Well, let's see if we do. Mm -hmm. I know we do. We just got to figure out where it is. There it is, just like that. Do you see how that fit in there? It's like doing a jigsaw puzzle, I said. Okay, so I'm gonna come around, trace that kind of dragon tail there. And I'm tracing it again. This is a good time to talk about colors. I'm gonna use color families here. Um, I'm gonna do this as a gift for my sister-in-law who just redid her bathroom, so I'm gonna use colors that complement her uh, bathroom, her new bathroom, okay? And so I'm gonna stop there for right now, but what you'll do, guys, is you'll keep going all the way through, and it will match. It will go all the way around and match, and then you'll have all of these different shapes, but they fit into each other. And then you can use, and you don't have to use paint, you can use crayons, you can use markers, it's fun to use crayons and then take a piece of wax paper and iron it and it kind of melts that crayon into your paper or your canvas and you, you get a, a cool effect too. Uh, if you have fabric markers, you could do this on white fabric and color them in with different colors and then make yourself some cool fabric that you could make a pillowcase out of or something along those lines. The sky is the limit. I just wanted to show you how cool it is to make your own tessellation. I miss you guys. I hope you will try this and post some pictures if you do take them. I would love, if you do do this project, I would love to see them. Thanks, take care.